welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do our homeschool space tour because we don't really have a room. Um, you will see that our homeschool space is combined or adjacent to our dining room. So I'll go into detail each section. So we'll begin um, on the kids area, which is this one. Okay, so on top there, I um, hang their drawings. So these two are Zeb's drawing and these two are Zach's. I just use a twine, or not really a twine, but I got that from Daiso and also the wooden, the wooden pegs. And on the side, I just put a adhesive, adhesive hook to make sure that it won't fall down because last time I tried to do this kind of thing for decoration it keeps dropping so this time around I just use a not too what do you call that um, it's not a heavy duty hook so it you can easily peel it off without you know damaging the wall so since we are renting we cannot really hang things on the wall or poke poke the the wall so these things are okay because i've tried it already i peeled it off and the wall was fine and same with this this wall decal i also got i got this from shopee and it's very easy to peel off it won't damage the paint of the wall okay so here are their desk so we have our calendar here i just printed this out before this di this calendar is from daiso and again, the wooden clips are from Daiso, so we just move the dates depending on what month it is. On, on this board, we have our word bank and our weekly schedule. So, so let me just give you a preview of our weekly schedule. Um, one thing that is consistent for our... Um, one subject that is consistent for the week is actually phonics. So we do phonics Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. For math, we do it um, every other day. Science also, science only Tuesday and Wednesday. Religion is Monday to Thursday. Handwriting is also every day. I wrote here computer. That's why their lap uh, the laptops are here because it's Wednesday today. They did their computer class. But I also had them do handwriting because on my lesson plan, I forgot. So I included handwriting here and I don't want to mess up the schedule. So I just added the handwriting. Only three pages, so not really a problem. So yeah, these are their desk. This is Zeb side, so obviously we have our blue caddy. If you you've seen this in my um, Target haul, but this one was from um, Dollar Tree, but it got cracked during the shipment. But I fixed it, and this is their from their art class last Friday. We did this um, toilet toilet paper robot. Zach is using it as additional pencil holder, as if he doesn't have enough pencil holder there. She's, he's using it for that. And yeah, so this one from IKEA. I said this two of this is one dollar ninety cents. I have here their um, school box. Um, I'll talk about our reward system on, or on a different video. Let me know if you're interested with that. Um, yeah, and here are their markers, crayons, pencil, twistable ones, um, twistable crayons, color pencils. We don't really use there are normal crayons anymore i like the twistables better scissors eraser sharpener glue and yeah the same thing on zach's side and also a ruler pala and we got this like bookmark that came together with the books ruler they even have calculator but they don't really use that so pencils yeah same thing with on zach's table oops and this book divider I got from Daiso. So I put everything that, they gonna, that they're gonna need for the day. So since we do phonics every day, I don't remove this. Handwriting also I don't remove. So I just have to put math book actually, that's it. For MWF, 
I put their math book in and then for the other subjects like science they don't really have a textbook that they need to work on or and even religion is mostly me talking so yeah so they have their phonics book which is this one phonics K for young Catholics and their handwriting book kindergarten handwriting and then I also have this one we haven't used but I got this also from Dollar Tree so the dry erase mm, writing thingamajig I forgot what they call this writing pad so it's a uh, dual sided so you can write here or here and then we have their drawing pad I, I gave them both two random you know like notebooks that they can use to draw because they like drawing so it's there and then they have two notebooks their spelling notebook and their vocabulary notebook so their vocabulary is actually this one word bank so for our word bank for I'll see how many words we can uh, how many virtues we can um, discuss because that's what I wanted to talk about the different virtues so they learn a new word they add to their vocabulary and at the same time they um, learn about the virtue and I have them copy the um, the words that I write here so last week we did obedience this is Zach's notebook and then this week we're talking about honesty so everything that we I'm gonna write here for the word bank they will write here so that's their copy work because we are also used to that right when we were going to school and I think even in college <laughs> you do a lot of copy work so yeah that's practice for them to just keep writing and writing and writing so it's the same as Zeb said everything is the same yeah so he has two um, random notebooks for drawing and two notebooks for vocabulary and um, spelling okay so oh the here are their IDs nga pala but they're not really wearing it anymore and they're not wearing their uniform anymore so these are the IDs that I made for them and zap if you're wondering if you're wondering about their school name happy schoolhouse this is just a name that i came up with i'm sweating guys i'm sorry i turned off the fan so it's not noisy um it's just a name that i came up with i wanted i wanted them to remember that their schooling was a happy experience at home so happy school is very very simple but meaningful yes my sweat Okay, so on this side is my teacher's card. Yeah, I told I told my kids they're not allowed to touch anything on the teacher's card, or they need to ask permission first. So let me just show you what's in there. First, we have our um, what do you call this diffuser. I diffuse essential oils while having our class. You know, to help them relax. Um, I have here few of the oils that I use so but right now we, we we are diffusing immune boom from plant therapy because you know just to boost their immunity even if you're not sick it's fine to use and then I have some Christmas um, Christmas scented essential oil from plant therapy too excuse my nails I cooked turmeric chicken today and my my nails were stained by the turmeric see so anyway yeah I have frosted mint and I have another one in here I forgot what is it wait um yeah holly berries okay but i keep my other essential oil bottles inside the room so sometimes i just you know um take out which one i want to use but so far we have been using immune boom there's one that there's one that helps that that helps memory eh? if i forgot what do you call it i have to check again because last time i was so into essential oils and now not not really but yeah okay yeah so we have that my essential oils and my mini drawer that holds my stamp um you know just teacher stamp nice work very good and my stamp pad and an eraser for me and um staple what do you call this a staple wire 
and then um, eraser for when their erasers are finished and then oh I have binder clips and that's it and on top I have just posits and highlighters oh this is the one we use for the obedience game I kept it here pala and here is my uh, for the school box the one that we the one that I give the kids for their for our reward system and here I have my pens scissor pencils marker and I have a mosquito repellent lotion because Zach has been getting a lot of mosquito bites lately so yeah and I have my puncher stapler here at the bottom I got myself a battery operated um, sharpener whoops wait a second <laughs> really makes a lot of difference because last time when I tried to sharpen all of their color pencils and all their pencils I had like a uh, what do you call that yeah but it hurt my finger my thumb so I, I decided to just get one of these so I have my tape dispenser they have their hand sanitizer here um, here's some supplies so I have scotch tape dice index cards glue and some bingo chips because one um on their phonics book we use some of these bingo chips okay at the bottom actually yeah oh yeah it's full pala so i have here my our math manipulatives we have our linking cubes this fun with math and some this one for for fine motor they haven't really used this I bought this for a long time ago and I saw it in the in my cabinet so I decided to just include it here for fine motor and yeah on this side I have my oh this is phonics um, what do you call this I forgot <laughs> this is from learning resources um, sentence building okay sentence building rod so it has the nouns pronouns compound words homophones linking verbs building simple sentences so yeah prepositions we haven't really um, used this yet but I put it there because we're gonna use it soon I think maybe when when they go to grade one next year we might be using that it's getting it's getting dusty now Okay, so that's my teacher's cart. I forgot to show you pala. This is their daily schedule. I have them tick. I forgot pa pala. This is the song that we're learning for this month. Actually, they almost memorized this na. Little Baby Jesus. It came with a CD um, that came with the curriculum with the books that Seton provided. So, yeah, that's the lyrics of the song. I love this um, learning resources. Um, this one is not. This is generic. This is learning resources. Dry erase. What do you call that? Pockets. So, sometimes when I'm lazy to laminate, I just put it here and then have them answer. So, I have seven of this. So, two, I use to hang. So, I don't need to, you know, I just, I just have to put in... Last time I have my Singapore coins here. So I just have to, you know, change whatever I put here. Okay. Okay, so now let's move on to our bookshelf. So on top, we have our abacus, which I got. This is an Ikea abacus. I got it secondhand through Carousel. Our globe I got from Popular Bookstore. And then this it's my attempt to be a <laughs> plantita but no this is i have this for like um siguro six years and when i saw it in my cabinet i said why not you know just add it as a decoration and then here i have the melissa and dog oh i don't know where to put this yeah this human human body and our first clock thing and here on this level oh by the way so I printed this out and I just wanted to test out if it fits 
if the letters fits. So I just used um, the blue tack. And when I saw, when I, wait, and then I told myself, I'll just, you know, leave it as it is. It was just actually a trial. I was supposed to use the twine, but then since it fits perfectly, just nice, I didn't remove it at all. And even if it's what it was windy, it doesn't come off, it doesn't fly away, so it's good. Just a little bit of blue blue tack work. Okay, so on this level we have their curriculum books. So yeah, this is their math book. So if this MWF, I take this out and then put it on their um, book divider there on their desk. And their science, their coloring books, some other materials that you know we, we will be using. And then, yeah, also materials that we will be using. This is from Seton also. And we, I just have a painting here by Seb. This is a paint by my numbers painting that Zeb did okay on this side I have my what do you call this whiteboard I have my clipboard I have my blackboard that I really haven't used so yeah my clipboard is still in the packaging okay on this side it's a mixture of decoration and some other things so this one we have the, we've had this for I think three four years now maybe more i think zeb was still a baby when i got this so it's very rusty now as you can see but you know never mind and then i just put this here but i don't really have a tea light candle for now but maybe i'll use it and then we have our i love this microscope this is from edu science um i see this brand from toys r us but i got this second hand from carousel and when we love it my kids love it looking under through the microscope and even i was having fun <laughs> and looking uh looking um through the microscope look at things through the microscope and this one is also for our science thing we got this from a science kit this um weight and what this is is actually a game something like that so you find which one the how many like for example how many pineapple which of this um weights will make this uh, what do you call this thing balance so yeah it's a game for weights and then nothing this is like a montessori montessori thing but it always drops on me Toot. oh it's perfect Okay, so this, uh, I got that from Shopee. This two, I got from Shopee. Actually, I ordered four. I was supposed to put four here, but then I got this. I got this. <laughs> and I said, I want to display it. I don't, I don't want just to, I don't want to just keep it. So, I don't know. And I, I don't even know what to put in those other two. So, it's still in my cabinet. So, for now, I have two of them. And it's holding our flashcards all the flashcards i've made so far and then yeah so we have we have um 3d shapes yeah non-living living things writing spelling um rhyming flashcards these are food flashcards our number bonds this we haven't used this yet and just a uh, like sight word flashcard and uh yeah we have flags of the world but I, we haven't done this yet we haven't started with that and then on this side i have the brain quest but this is old they've they've done this before ages three to four it's a bit easy for them but i have this <laughs> but we haven't tried doing it this is for ages 12 to 13 because I got this from the Opai or the thrift shop. So, yeah, I couldn't pass on it when I saw it. Okay, I might as well get it. They will turn 12 to 13 anyway. So, here I got this from Daiso. Where else? It holds our and all our wooden thingy. So, we have um, what do you call this? The handwriting practice Montessori, I believe. This is a Montessori style, you know. It comes with this pen. 
or pen. And then at the back, we have our tangram. We have different puzzles. Another puzzle. Um, Zeb used to play with this when he was like one to two years old. And I thought I'd just give it away. But then I, I realized or maybe just sell it. I realized this can be used for fraction. So I didn't let go of it yet. So I'm keeping that when we talk about fractions. And here we have our hundreds board. The numbers are inside here actually. Here. Okay. okay, so on this side, we have our storybooks. Everything about, you know, stories that we read. And when I ask them to read books, so they choose from here. And on this side are workbooks or coloring books. Anything that they need to answer or, yeah, color, obviously. So, yeah, and sticker books then. So, that's that. I'm not sure if we're going to add more. Because as you can see, I feel like I don't have enough space to put them. So, here we have our morning basket. So, every morning, or no, not morning. Every time we start our school, I bring this with me. Put it here. And bring that chair over here. And then we start school. So, I'm going to show you what's inside my morning basket. Okay, so this is what's inside our um, circle time basket. This is the CD that came with the curriculum. But I already copied the songs to my iTunes so I don't really open it anymore. So, yeah, this is the devotion book that we use every day. We read one page every day. Yeah, and I, I'm loving it. How God Grows a Brave Boy, which is just nice for my two kids two boys this is our um, affirmation card so this is an alphabet wait long let me just try to open so this is alphabetized saying i am amazing i am brave i am courageous i am determined so just affirmation you know and then Oh, some of the books that we use every day. So since we have religion every day, I just left the religion books here in my basket since we use it every day. This is my lesson plan book. Yeah, I just leave it open too so it's easier to see. So my lesson plan book, kindergarten catechism. Oh, this is our poster. I forgot. So this is Zeb's binder, Zach's binder, and my binder. So, what else? Oh, yeah, this one's also for their religion subject. This one is for their religion subject. And this is for my, you know, taking down notes, what to talk about for our circle time. Yeah. And yeah, that's our morning basket. So, I'll clean that up later. Okay, so on the lowest part of our shelf, obviously, it's all our games, board games and educa mostly educational games. So from um, language games, you know, we have the three-letter learning game. We have Jolly Phonics bingo game here. Um, snack attack, sight word zingo. And then we love logic games or strategy games. So we have blocus, subtracts. This one is a classic, also Rush Hour. Um, this one was gifted to us, stacking game. So, Doku, we haven't tried this. They haven't tried this before yet. This this one, my kids love. It's a memory game, like that, for the color. I thought I, thought I was supposed to, you know, sell this na, but my kids love it, so I'm still keeping this. Um, yeah, more strategy game, brick by brick, four in a row. What else? Here, we have a lot of card games. Card, 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 strategy game, hangman, IQ logic game. We have another rush hour here. And then, tic-tac-toe. Uh, we have, this one is a spotted game, which is a lot of fun. My kids love this spotted game. Yeah. And then, we have wacky jacks or jackstone in Tagalog. Sushi Go, this is a bit complicated for them. It's actually for ages 8 and above. So, when we try to play, it's too complicated. Um, memory game. 
and yeah this one we haven't tried to and then at the back we have an atlas big block world atlas oh we also have this word pass game and we have scrabble jr we have pattern play thomas domino game labyrinth they haven't they haven't played with this yet and oh yeah the i mm, body iq for kids i like this yeah all right okay that's it so i told myself i'm not gonna buy games anymore so because we still so we have a lot and we still have some in the closet in the bedroom okay on this side we have my basket but these books are borrowed from the library so i don't want to mix them with our books you know but but obviously from the library they have their tag here but still it's nice to have you know a separate basket just for the library books here we have um our mcdonald's book <laughs> so mo instead of toys now they like to get the books the three top twins adventures book we have peppa pig this one also came from the happy meals uh, mr men book thomas and friends book and this these two tagalog books given to by their auntie auntie bunny they we lo they loved it and yeah just small books we're going on a bear hunt this is just you know the sh the size of the shelf is just nice for these books here yeah we have god loves me bible we have two um jesus lives and jungle book oh, and here we have um what they call this another ah no these are the wooden pegs pala that they they use on the sana books ako na rhyming cards on some of the flash cards wait Okay, so yeah, this, these are just wooden pegs that they use for their um, flashcards. On this side, we have a map of the world with animals, which my kids like. And they have, they have fun looking for the animals, like, can you find, you know. So, yeah, I like this. I got it from Shopee. And I got it for super cheap. Okay, so I have here now the decoration that I, was, I saw in my... Um, circle time basket so uh, yeah I just put it here as a reminder for my kids and here is our um, reward store it's actually reward store and art cart at the same time so this is how they earn their school box how much the things cost and our schedule when it opens so last Friday was the first day because we just we have survived our first week of um, homeschooling so we are on our second week as i mentioned it's wednesday today so on friday yeah they're looking forward to get another item from this boxes from our store this one i got from ikea i don't know what to put yet so let me just put it there so you can see the bottom so this is our art card we have stamps um, what do you call this? The paint palette, stamps, watercolor, paints, paint sticks, crayons, popsicle sticks. Of course, we have the paints at the back. Our brushes and more pen, marker, scissors at the back. And then here, I got this from Daiso too. This is so cute. I don't know what to put here yet. So I have googly eyes here. Yeah, and some pom-poms for our arts and crafts and at the bottom wait let me just put this up i love it because it's magnetic and it's cheaper than the ikea one so at the bottom i just got this today i got two ikea trays uh, ikea um daiso trays because here we have some more art stuff so we made play those last week so i hope you can see we made play those last week um who made play though so i want them to have a tray when they play with the play-doh and i got them kinetic sand but i haven't opened it they don't know what is in it yet kinetic sand we have play-doh we have putty anything that you know involves 
their hands um, some animals that they can use for pretend play using the play-doh and yeah some modeling modeling clay oh, so I have oil pastels here in pala so yeah that's our art card slash um, reward store card so if you have any ideas what can I put here <laughs> I don't know I just bought it because it's cheap all right and on this side pala, I just have this welcome to Happy Schoolhouse thingy. And at the bottom, I have their um, envelopes. They have, actually these are their envelopes before. All their drawings, they put in their envelope. Those that they want to keep. So, since it's full, I got them a new one. So, yeah. So, every time they draw and they want to keep it, they put it there. And here I have the papers, the construction paper, and the bond paper for printing because our printer is here. And some colored paper for arts and crafts. And I have their lip frog pen here because I don't know where to put it. And some more um, additional supplies, drawing books, drawing... Um, I like this drawing block because it's uh, thick thicker than cotton bun or you know bun paper and more drawing notebooks and yeah i got this from popular because it's cheaper to get in a pack so if we in case finish just the spelling and vocabulary so we still have more more drawing pad and i got the big version to the a4 size of the drawing pad and rulers stencils on the side yeah okay so we're now here in our spare bedroom and slash office because my husband works there and i have some stuff here um you know things that i don't have space for outside so i just keep it here let me show you okay those are mommy's medals <laughs> and some stuff here so i have my binder fillers um what do you call that yeah the pockets i have my laminating sheets I have, oh, we have our first generation iPad that I don't know if it still works. I just found it in the cabinet. So these are Zeb and Zach's um, memory, memory binder for all their, for kindergarten. And what's inside here ba? I don't know. Oh, some more supplies. So, yeah, some other, you know, labels that I made, extra things magnetic numbers yeah oh okay so i have my japanese paper felt paper okay more arts and crafts things and then i have a, a spare of this one that i wanted to put on top of the bookshelf but i don't know what what letters i mean what would it say so let me think about it first and then on this side i have my what do you call this paper organizer so i have printouts of board games that i have made even way before when they were smaller pa. so yeah all those printed board games that i laminated and even you know parts of the body and then um yeah even the continents we also have the uh, more colored papers here the scra the scrap ones i keep those i have stickers a lot of stickers here and what else some scratch the months of the year yeah the months of the year for our calendar i keep it there i have my um here is my uh, dry erase pockets and my corkboard that I don't know where to put and some random stuffs here and some other supplies that we might be needing so scotch tape some more pom-pom balls some more wooden pegs glitters I'm scared to put this in an art cart because it might spill so I don't want to put it there um, saves me the hassle in case we have this rubber bands chenille wire and I have a lot of water beads yeah, so we have glue. Yeah, this is the twine that I used. Paper clips. 
chalk eraser that I don't really use and um, push pins that's it so these are the only compartments that I use for anything connected to our homeschooling and I forgot to show the sides pala so on the side I put some of the you know the hooks again and I put here the flashcards that I got from Target and on top I also put our clock because this is this is what we're gonna use when we start learning reading time so yeah in this cabinet it also holds some other things too so as you can see on the top we have the geometric solids and this is a that's a game spreading game and this is another um, learning resources um, I forgot what's this I forgot what is this but yeah it's also spelling rods the rods are in there and then we have kids lab human torso glue for slime making some other flashcards I made a long time ago and yeah some other arts and crafts thing so letter stamps yeah, I haven't even opened this and ribbons and craft punch timer and yeah okay that's it guys i think we've covered everything regarding our homeschooling space um as you can see i told you it's connected to our living room to our dining room so you don't really have to have a specific room for your homeschooling just you know make it work we have a spare bedroom as i mentioned kanina but um i like the lighting here better outside it's more conducive for learning so i set up the space here so and if we use our spare bedroom for our guests you know family coming over i don't want our homeschooling to be disrupted by that so yeah i think this is the best choice for us to you know to set up the school space but anyways i hope you enjoyed watching if you have any questions let me know if you have any suggestions let me know too i hope you also picked up a, a thing or two and yeah i hope you enjoyed watching i'll see you next time let me know if you want me to talk about our homeschool routine our homeschool reward system and yeah because it's gonna take a long time so anyways I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and Zebenza's channel. Bye guys!